Hi guys, Kaylee here. So I finally participated in a comic and arts festival, and I got to have my own table for the first time. Well, actually, I shared a table with another artist, but after she left an hour early, I got to have the table for myself. I also didn't have to pay for the table, so it was a low-risk opportunity for me to see what products sell and what doesn't, and to meet people in my community. It was a pretty small event at a comic book store and an adjacent bookstore, and it was only a five-hour event, so there weren't a lot of people like in comic book conventions, but I still learned a lot. My goal was to make at least $10 per hour, so at least $50 that day. But unfortunately, I didn't meet my goal. Here are some mistakes I made and some things I did right. The first mistake I made was that I didn't have enough products to sell. I wanted to sell copies of my comic book, but I didn't publish it in time. So all I had to sell was some greeting cards, some handmade sketchbooks, and an art print I made specifically for the festival. I also tried selling some photo cards and pencils since I have so many. I walked around to look at other tables in the bookstore, and I noticed one artist had her own greeting card display rack full of different designs. I'm sure if I had more designs and products to sell, I would have sold more items. The second mistake I made was I didn't think about the demographic of my customers. This is related to the first mistake I mentioned, but I should have created more products to appeal to a lot of different types of people. I noticed that many of the customers that came into the comic book store were men. Next time, I'll try to have products that will appeal to both men and women, and to people of different ages. The third mistake I made was that I didn't have any fan art. I'm not a well-known artist, so of course I didn't have high expectations or expect a lot of people to come up to my table. But maybe having some recognizable characters on display would have helped. Next time, I'll definitely create some prints of popular characters from movies and anime. Now I'll talk about the things I did right. The first thing I did right was setting up things vertically. This is something I learned from a panel at a comic book convention. I bought some clear plastic photo frames from Dollar Tree and I put my art inside so people could see it from far away. The artist sitting next to me had her artwork flat on the table, so people had to come up close to look at her artwork. She did, however, use the space in front of her table to put up a large piece of artwork vertically. Another thing I did right was making sure I had change for customers and downloading an app on my smartphone so I could take credit and debit cards for payment. My last customer asked me if I took cards, and she might have left without buying anything if I told her no. The last thing I did right was making sure to leave the table sometimes so timid customers could come up to my table and look at my products. I realized that not everybody feels comfortable going up to a table when the artist is watching them, so I made sure to walk around and look through the comics at the store, then approached the customer at my table when it looked like they were ready to buy something. I ended up only selling three items, one sketchbook and two cards, and they sold during the last two hours of the event, and it wasn't until after I started leaving my table that people started buying things. The artist next to me left about an hour early, and I noticed she didn't end up selling anything. I wonder if the other artists in the bookstore, where most of the tables were, did better than us. Well, that's the end of this video. Let me know if you've ever done an artist alley sort of thing and what your experience was like. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video!